Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of This Week in Metal, your news roundup of everything that's happened in the world of rock and metal of the past seven days. We've got stories for you. We've got album news. We've got our track of the week we're going to announce at the end of the episode, so make sure to stick around for that. And do not forget to smash that fucking subscribe button, because I'm looking and you are beautiful, so... Go ahead and do that. Just just go ahead and do that. Uh, for our first story uh, this week, unfortunately, we have to start things off with a bit of a tragic note. Uh, last Friday, uh, Metal 4 piece Adrenaline Mob were involved in a uh, unfortunate fatal collision whilst they were on Interstate 75 in Central Florida while they're, they're touring their third album at the moment, which is called We The People. And unfortunately, whilst they were um, changing their RV for a flat tire, a tractor trailer came veering off uh, the motorway and smashed straight into uh, the band's RV. Um, there were seven involved, one being fatality, one being a fatality, and six injured, three in critical condition. Three looks as if they've, they've been stabilized. Unfortunately, and most tragically, the uh, basis for Adrenaline Mob, David Zabaldowski. Uh, was that fatality, and it completely breaks our hearts uh, to to hear this news. Um, he'd only recently joined the band this year as well, which kind of makes it even worse uh, worse out for that, really. Um, Mike Portnoy helped uh, establish this band. They're from Richie from New York. You know, you kind of kind of like your traddy kind of heavy metal, power metal kind of stuff. Um, so it's so heartbreaking to hear about this. Another death in the world of metal and rock is, again, is, is something that's come to hard to terms. So uh, from, on behalf of everyone here at Noise, and I, I, and I would only assume everyone else in the rock and metal world, we do send our love to, uh, to his friends, his family, his bandmates as well. So we are sending all our love and all our thoughts though. So guys, do keep strong, okay? Uh, we'll keep you informed about what the whereabouts of the band are going to be doing. We're not too sure if they're going to be carrying on touring, but we will keep you involved with that, okay? So, stay strong there, guys. So, for our second story tonight, I assume it's tonight we we're watching, whatever the day it is, it doesn't matter. So, coming from you from Five Finger Death Punch, one singer, Ivan Moody, has actually finally broken some silence, and he's actually sent out and addressed his fans and to everyone whilst he's been in a rehabilitation clinic. So, for those who haven't been watching this amazing little vlogcast that I've got going on, uh, I've been catching up with uh, the Five Finger Death Punch story where what's actually been going on. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, Shell, Ivan Moody has just kind of gone off the rails a little bit. He's turned up to shows completely off his tits and just ruining it for everyone. And this is why we can't have nice things. But somehow the the tank, which is Five Finger Death Punch, is just rolling on, which is awesome. And Ivan Moody has actually come out from this um, uh, from his rehabilitation uh, to say that he is in this 100%. He's thanking fans for their support and he expects to be back with Five Finger Death Punch come this August. August 19th is what he's predicting anyway. So he's come back uh, now with this amazing statement saying that he's in this for the fans, he's in it for the band that he loves, he is 100% in it, so there's something to look forward to. So let's hope that he sticks to it and that he gets better soon. All right, so fucking hang in there, mate. You're doing all right. So good to see. You. Well, good to see you back on stage when we get round to it. Okay, fucking yes. Next thing. So for our final uh, news story tonight, uh, Zentrix UK Thrashers have announced a little bit of a lineup change. So they have chucked out. Uh, well. I say chucked out, I mean, he's just walked off, really. Uh, guitarist slash vocalist Chris Astley has now been replaced by guitarist Jay Walsh. So it's a nice little lineup change for them. Um, uh, do check them out. Uh, if you like your thrasher, your classic, you know, fast, in your face, violent kind of thing. It's all right. It's not too bad. So uh, do check that out. So there's been a bit, so that lineup change uh, pretty much cements um, the last of our stories for this week, I guess. So without further ado, Album news. So, for our first record we're going to talk about this week, it needs to be on your fucking radar right now. It's Bad Signs, Live and Learn. It is a ridiculous fucking album and a one hell of a debut. They've got a couple of EPs beforehand as well, but Live and Learn is just something else entirely. It's called Live and Learn. It is out via Basic Records. You need to get this album in your life. And it's actually available to stream via The Independent. You can check it out. You could go to their Facebook page and you could scroll down and it's right there for you to listen for all your pleasure. You will not regret it. Get on it. Next thing. So, 
album announcement number two uh, this evening uh, has been brought to you by Belfilgor. That's right, European black metalers are priming for their new album, Taught and Ritual, which is going to come out about mid-September. It looks dark, it looks bleak, it looks fast and heavy as fuck. Belfilgor, Taught and Ritual, out in September via Nuclear Blast. Watch out for it. It's going to fucking blow your ass off to smithereens. And we leave you this week with our track of the week. And I think you could kind of guess by the tone that I've already been showing in this episode already that it has down goes to Bad Signs Square One. It's the third track off Live and Learn. You need this in your fucking system so bad. We'll pop the link for it in the description below. Please do check it out. It is an absolute belter. It's one of many belters. Like you could happily choose any single song off that off that track, and that would just be me retired for like the next seven weeks of tracks of the week. It's so fucking good. So live and learn by Bad Sign by a basic records. Do get it in your fucking system. So, that was our episode for this week. Let us know if you've missed anything out. Uh, leave a comment in the description below in the, you know, in the comment section and battle it out if we've ever had a comments battle that is. You could start one. Fucking go for it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Why not? Share it around with your friends. Try it in soup. And basically, you can go to noise.co.uk. Go check out the latest news, videos, interviews, photos, and all the fucking amazing stuff from there. It's a great website, hence why I write for them and work for them here because I'm gorgeous. And uh, you could go and like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash noise UK. I've been Howell from This Week in Metal. I will see you next week. Stay fucking heavy, you beautiful bastards.